Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and my whole day has been a hot mess today as well as me <laughs> and that's just fine. Um, I had planned to get up early this morning, get this video going, make it. We're going to make homemade TV dinners, perfect freezer meals for one. And um, you can even double them. You can make these freezer meals um, for a family of five if you want or or four or whatever. But I'm going to do them in TV dinner containers, the plastic ones for the freezer. It's wonderful. So I have got a whole spread of food out here. I've got onions and peppers that I'm going to saute up because we are also going to do a uh, sausage with that. So I've got all the meat. I kind of got this all separated. So we got fried chicken here that I have done. It's in my freezer. It's perfect for this. Um, I got our homemade. Most of these are going to be homemade too, friends. I even got my homemade cream of chicken soup on the back of the stove. And you'll see that in a, that's, I have already done a video on that. Actually, if I can, I will put a link to that video somewhere up here. These are my homemade um, O'Brien potatoes, and we're gonna do a nice cheesy casserole, a potato casserole with those. I've got scalloped potatoes that have already been made. They're prepackaged in my freezer, perfect for freezer meals. Um, we've got various veggies. We've got asparagus, broccoli, corn, carrots, green beans, and broccoli Normandy. Um, I've got chicken thighs. Two, let's see, we're gonna do chicken, fried chicken, baked chicken, and sausage. That's what we're gonna do this time around. Um, next time I'll do other meats, but that's what I'm gonna do this time. I've got, I just got a fresh bag of chicken thighs from my um, butcher. I'm excited about that. So most of this is homemade. I've even got mashed potatoes here that were left over from last night. I didn't put them in the freezer. We will today. Remember our, our uh, rice mixes. Perfect. So I'm telling you friends, this is making your pantry work for you as well as your freezer. We're gonna use this. I'm gonna show you how this is cooked. Beautiful. Our chicken, we're gonna do, um, like a cranberry sauce on some. We're gonna do some just plain baked. We got some that's fried and we're gonna do a zesty Italian. So this will be wonderful. So let me get all this stuff sorted out because the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the meats in the oven. That's what takes the longest. Okay, friends, I've got three different sections of, I got my huge tray and I got three different sections of aluminum foil on it so that I can cook all three of these at the same time. Okay. Now this is a beautiful bag of fresh chicken thighs. And we're going to use them. Okay, so And I'm not gonna take the skin off or take the bones off. I want them, I'll fix that in a minute. I want them all intact. That I might take off. Actually, I'll do it when I get all these done. Okay, that's two pieces for each TV dinner. Because those thighs are fairly small, that's okay. If you use this, you can put as much as you want or as little as you want in your in your tray. But this way, they'll have if they have one for at night, she'll have you know leftovers for the lunch 
the lunch the next day tomorrow. Let me put this in my fridge. That is not to be sent out. Okay, friends. Let me set all this down because now we're going to trim this up because this one right here has just way too much on it. So that looks good right there. It's not tuna fish, kitty. Isn't that funny? How many of you have a cat or cats that think every time you open a can, it's going to be tuna fish? <laughs> Mine does. You're a riot. Okay. That looks good. We're going to do baked. Um, and I'm going to do... Well, let's see. This is a little bit of onion powder, so I'm going to put that on there. A little garlic on this. This is my baked chicken. Okay. Oh, I want to do paprika. Let's see. I got a little instrument for that. That will work very nicely. See? There we go. Okay. Perfect. I love that. Thank you, Chris. Chris from City Girl Homestead gave me that. Make sure you check her out. She's got a lovely little channel. And some parsley. So our baked chicken is all seasoned up. Okay. Oh, we need salt and pepper on it. Yeah, we need some salt and pepper. Beautiful. I'll show this out to you before I put it in the oven. Okay, so that's ready to go. And then we'll make some beautiful juice in there. All right. Here is our zesty Italian. I'm not doing an advertisement for craft. I'm just not going to rip the label off of it. That's what I use. I use that because, as you can see, I got it cheap from Pineview. Ha! I buy whatever's on sale, friends. And this works nicely. Okay. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that smells good. That zesty Italian is going to be good. And then we're going to do rice too. So that'll be good with rice. Okay. We're going to pour that right on there. That's all we're going to do. We're going to give that a little bit of salt. Not too much. And we're going to give that some pepper. And that's all we want. We do want a little bit of parsley on there, I guess. That would be nice, too. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now, this is a whole berry cranberry. So we're going to put a whole berry cranberry sauce. Let's break this up a little. There we go. I'm also going to put a little bit of pepper on here. And just a little bit of salt and I'm also going to do a little bit of my homemade this is my homemade onion soup mix Beautiful. okay I'll show these to you 
and then we'll get them in the oven. I need to preheat my oven. I forgot that, 400. All right, it's a going. Okay, friends, there you go. There is my Italian chicken. This stuff is wonderful too when you put sauerkraut with it. Yes, it sounds terrible, but it is divine. And my daughter has a wonderful recipe for that also that is in my cookbook. Little, uh, little, um, little homestead pantry one. Okay, this is the cranberry chicken. These are all going to be wonderful with rice. And this is the regular baked chicken. Beautiful. So these are going to go in the oven once it's preheated for about 45 minutes. I like to make sure my chicken is completely done. So about 45 minutes. I'll start checking it at about 40 minutes. Okay, friends. So now that we've got the chicken in the oven, we're doing the... um recipes that take the longest. So I'm going to do the rice next. And after that, all we'll have left is the potato casserole to do and get that in the oven. And then we can work on our veggies, which doesn't take much. Remember this? This beautiful onion rice with veggies. We're going to use this, okay? I'm going to do, woo. I'm going to do a one cup so if you made these with me, this is how you cook them. All right, this smells wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna pour this rice in. Beautiful. We're gonna pour two cups of water to one cup of rice. We're also gonna stick in two tablespoons. I'm using butter. You can use olive oil if you choose or pretty much any kind of oil. Give that a nice little stir. See how that looks in there? Beautiful. My rice cooker is right here. I'm gonna put that on cook, put the lid on. That's gonna stay right there and it's gonna do all the work for me. Perfect. Okay, friends, I got the big baby bowl out because we're gonna need him because I, if I'm gonna do the potatoes O'Brien casserole, I'm going to do enough for hopefully a couple extra freezer meals. So with that, this is going to be probably three good pans full of this. This is my homemade um, cream of chicken soup on the stove here. I got to melt this butter, so I'm just going to melt it right in there. It will melt right in there. It's all going in here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, this is going to be fun. I love cooking, friends. And these are our homemade potatoes O'Brien as well. So this is a lot of homemade food. And that will break up, watch this. Sometimes that's all it takes. Oh, that's pretty solid. There we go. We got it. We got it. All right. There's a couple of them in there. I can't save any of these bags because they're ripped. And one don't seal. Go wash my hands. We're going to do some salt in here. I have very little salt in my homemade um, cream of chicken. My oven, I already have the chicken in it, my oven's set. But I, I put very little salt in here and pepper. But if you're using the canned soup, which you can, just be careful of the salt because those tend to be quite salty. Okay. There's our beautiful pepper. Wonderful. Now, I'm making some of these meals for John and I for fun. And I'm also making some of them for my daughter and her husband for their work. So we will have fun with this. This is going to take about four handfuls of cheese. And, you know, a handful is a cup to whirl around. Oh, wonderful stuff. I might still throw an egg or two in here for binding. 
I think that's pretty good right there. And our butter is melting in the soup. We're gonna leave that there just in case we want more. That's melting pretty good. Um, I'm gonna need a nice hefty spoon to mix all this up. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna re we're gonna need this entire container of sour cream. This definitely is not diet food. But you know, it's comfort food in its finest, I'm telling you. Especially homemade. I know I use, I use jarred foods, canned foods. I use whatever my budget will let me, you know? I use, and I get, because I get a lot of flash foods, it's fantastic. I can get a lot of healthy foods for a fraction of the cost. I saved that for my church. Ah, that's our poor man's Tupperware. Works pretty good. All right, so now we're going to need... That's going to be pretty hot on this. So, we, there we go. There is our soup. That is equivalent to four cans. So it'd be two cans per batch. And wouldn't you know it, I wouldn't have to throw out my... Okay. I'm gonna leave that set in there. I don't think we will need any more. Oh, this is wonderful. Can you see all that? We're gonna get that all mixed around. Beautiful. Looks like a hot mess, but it, it will be delicious. It's almost like funeral potatoes. I think, in fact, that's what some people call this, funeral potatoes. That's morbid. Ha <laughs> funeral potatoes. Okay, that looks pretty good. I not I don't think I'm gonna put an egg in here. I think they're okay because these will be wonderful. And I think this is just gonna be two. We'll find out. Okay, I'll trade places with this. I'm gonna bring it down here closer to me. You know, I might be able to put some more potatoes in there. Those look pretty good. But I think I might need more potatoes. I'm going to go get another bag of my O'Brien potatoes. I'll be right back. Okay. That's a little soupy. So we can utilize it. Beautiful. This one is savable. All right. We'll mix this. That's all it took, friends, that little bit. Beautiful. Okay. I added more potatoes, so I'm going to need a little more seasoning. I'm just going to spray my pan a little. I usually spray it over the sink, but this will be all right. I'm going to give it a light spray. Okay. Now, we get the shovel and we start filling these.
think I'm I think I'm just gonna fill these pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I can get them both in here. It'll be full, but it won't overflow or nothing like that. Okay. Daddy bull, but it's a heavy son of a gun, I'll tell ya. Okay. That looks good. One's going in the oven, and this one has more of it that's going in the freezer. This one for the freezer. I need to label it first. That one, or no, that one's going in the freezer. This one, this one's going in the freezer. This one's going in the oven. That one has less. All right, we're going to put that down in the oven. Right there. Beautiful. That's all set to go. Let's wrap the other one and label it. I just wrote cheesy potato O'Brien casserole. 350 for one hour. Because those potatoes are bland, so they're hard boiled. This is moving right along, friends. Pretty good. Well, hopefully, I mean, the first part of my day was a hot mess. So hopefully, the second part will be good. Ha! I'll go get these out there. That's looking pretty good. Oh gosh, that smells wonderful. If only you could smell that. I hope you guys try those rice recipes for your pantry because they're wonderful. All right, I'm gonna go put this in my freezer and then we'll get busy with our vegetables. And mostly, all we need to do is steam them. And uh, we do need to saute. You know what? I'm just going to put, I'll be back. Let me put this away and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Since I'm having a ball with my aluminum foil today, we're going to do these veggies the same way. I'm just going to put these in the oven because these will be wonderful. And these are going to be for my uh, sausage TV dinners. Now we're going to use them all because they love peppers. And I can save the bags. Bunch of onions in there. Okay, that's good. And if we have leftovers, they're going in my freezer too. There we go. That's ready to go back into the freezer. We're just going to drizzle this with olive oil. Beautiful. We're going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And 
we are going to okay, see what I'm doing here? Probably not. I'm sorry. I'm just rolling this down. And this is going to get rolled up so it won't drip. I'll run out the edges. That's going to go in the oven just like that. Perfect. Now the other thing we need to do, eh, how much room do I got in there? Oh, I got a bunch of room. Okay. This is the greatest thing for cleanup. And no, it's not good for you. They always say it's linked to Alzheimer's and dementia, but it's not something we do every day. I think it's okay once in a while. But then again, I'm not a doctor. So, I really... I'm making extra of this because I'm going to have a little extra of this tonight with my dinner. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm gonna, we're gonna try a piece of that chicken, some of this lovely rice and asparagus. What a beautiful, healthy dinner. I don't know what store you can go into and buy a TV dinner that has beautiful baked chicken, homemade rice, and asparagus. Huh. Maybe Whole Foods. I don't know though. Oh, I need this. We're going to drizzle that with olive oil. Beautiful. Okay. That was probably a tablespoon. I do use a lot of olive oil, but we love it. We're just going to do salt and pepper on these. Nothing else. I just love asparagus with salt and pepper, and that's it. I love asparagus raw. I think it's wonderful. Just, just raw. I love it. Okay, same thing with this. We're just going to curl this over. Beautiful. In the oven she goes. That's all the vegetables that we need to put in the oven to cook and steam. The asparagus was raw and the onions and the peppers were uncooked. So the rest of it is just corn and um, carrots, which have already been blanched. Um, and if I'm going to use my California blend, that's fine. It doesn't need to be steamed. So I will see you back here, friends. I'm going to get this cleaned up. That was easy. It's quick. And then when this is all done, we're going to put these together. I'll see you then. All right, friends. This is our homemade soup mixture. Just look at how beautiful that is. Look at how fluffy that rice is. That is gorgeous. That'll be beautiful in our TV dinners. I'm going to try a little bit. We'll let it cool off. We'll see how well we did making this. I've made these so many times. They're wonderful. I just don't want to burn my mouth because it's screaming hot. Here we go. Mmm. That is seasoned beautifully. We don't have to add another thing to it. I love these rice mixes. It's better than rice roni. It's homemade. Okay, friends. We can probably start putting some of these together while the other is still cooking. I'm going to take all my lids off. These have been used and used and used. And sometimes they went into her dishwasher and were abused. But they work. We'll reuse them as many times as we can. 
done. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got sausage here. We're gonna put two slices in, or two pieces in here, two in here. Okay, and you know what we're gonna do with this little one? We're just gonna cut this in half because it's crying in this package. And we're gonna put him in there too. We're just gonna cut him right in half. I'm going to stick him right in there. Beautiful. Then I don't have to put that in the freezer. Okay. I always double wrap my chicken. This is beautiful stuff. Okay, there's one piece and a thigh. Um, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do two fried chicken because they love fried chicken. There's another thigh. And a leg. There we go. Legs and thighs. Beautiful. Okay, now, I think that I can fit these right in there, and right in there, perfect. Okay, those can go back in the freezer. And I've got, I'll use this. There we go. Perfect. You know what I'll do? I'll just put this bag right in here. <laughs> Repurpose and reuse. I'll know that's not sausage. So I got these potatoes left over, and we're going to put those in the chicken meals. You can't see those either. Okay. Now you can see them. I could do, both of them could fit right in there. And they love their mashed potatoes. Perfect. Then I don't have to freeze it, nor does it go to waste. Okay, so now these are ready to go. Look at those. Aren't those nice, friends? See? Beautiful. Okay, we're going to put a little dollop of butter into their potatoes, okay? And a little bit on their veggies. There we go. And they can put more salt and pepper if they want on them. Okay. Look at how that seals. Beautiful. These will stack in your freezer. These are wonderful. Hang on. 
This isn't for this one. Give up the butter. <laughs> Give up the butter. I think this one goes here. No. Well, goodness sakes. These are all the same ones, so I don't know why. Oh, there I got it. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some of them are different. Anyway. We're going to label this. Fried chicken dinner. Veggies and potatoes for 24. Perfect. If you have to, you can heat these up in a microwave. I wouldn't because I think putting it in the oven is so much nicer or a toaster oven. I'm just not fond of microwaves, I guess. There's two of them down. Beautiful. So we've got to wait for, I got to check the chicken too. I'm going to put these right over here. So those are ready to go and I need my room to work. We are going to check the chicken and see how that's doing. It is done, friends. I am quite sure of it. I'm just going to take the temperature of this, and then I will show this to you. You want that's 168. You want it 165. This is all done. Beautiful. Take a look, friends. Isn't that gorgeous? There is our cranberry chicken. There's our Italian, zesty Italian chicken. And there's our baked chicken. Beautiful. Okay, friends. I told you I was going to have asparagus and a piece of chicken with a little rice. So we'll try that out. And we'll see how that turned out. I already know the rice is good. I tasted that. This is our asparagus. It smells divine. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to put a little... A little bunch of that right on the side of my fine china plate. I love these. Now this can sit here and cool off because that's going to go into some of these dinners. Oh, I want my rice first. Okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to have to... Oh, it's warm. We're going to set that right there. And we're going to leave that lid off so that cools. Now, I'm going to do the regular baked chicken. And take a look, friends. That is beautiful. Now we'll taste it. I don't need anything else on here. And the uh, asparagus, I love it cooked, but I, I love it when it still has a little life left in it, you know, a little crunch to it. That's when it's just, it's wonderful. And that skin is crispy and gorgeous. All right, so we're going to try a little piece of this with a little bit of rice and a couple little pieces of asparagus so we get all three of these beautiful flavors at once. Oh, I love cooking. Who am I fooling? I love eating. Mmm. That's beautiful. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. Absolutely. We'll take one more bite with that beautiful crispy skin. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.
try that. Those are wonderful. And that's a beautiful serving, you know, for a dinner. That's going to fill you right up. I'm going to go enjoy myself while those potatoes are cooking and the chicken is cooling. All right, friends. Our stuff is to all that. Those are wonderful. Those are done beautifully. Okay. This is our... Let's set these aside. Now. This is our peppers and onions that are going to go with our sausage. Whew. Oh, those are beautiful. Let me get them mixed up a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think I might put these on these. still be good they'll still fit the lid will still fit then I'm just gonna put a little corn in there okay let me put this in here those beautiful oh I want a little little butter they'll use their own salt and pepper but I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here put on their corn and a little bit on their potatoes there we go That one, I might have a little trouble getting a lid on it, but maybe not. No, nope, I got it. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to label this. I love this, friends. This is so easy. This is sausage. are done. Now we've got four of these. Okay, so with these we're going to do two pieces of the chicken. Cranberry chicken. Two pieces. They're small thighs, so I put two of them in there. That's the Italian. And then we're going to do two baked and those were delicious I had those okay so we're gonna do rice with I want rice with the Italian ones and I'm gonna do potatoes my potatoes are over here I'm gonna do the potatoes with these potatoes you know what um mm, yes I am I'm gonna do potatoes with these two okay those are gorgeous oh we got one more here um let's see yeah I'll do, I'll do the cranberry chicken. I 
I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to scoop some of that cranberry into these too. I don't waste that. I'll do this one with rice since I got the others with potatoes. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so we got corn. We're going to do asparagus. Beautiful. I'm going to use up this last bit of corn, too. Actually, I will use... I'll put a few carrots in with there. Maybe I can get some more corn in there. I'll put a few carrots in that one. Okay. All right, so now again, I don't need it on the asparagus, but I want it on the corn, a little bit of butter. Asparagus don't need it, that's already seasoned and everything. This is beautiful. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to see if I could take... And take the cranberry sauce from here and put it on this chicken. Because that's wonderful. There we go. All right. Okay, now I gotta label these. Okay, that, friends, is how easy that is to put together. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, there you have it, friends. We did these beautiful TV dinners all homemade. It's wonderful and it is easy to do. And some of them I was able to put them together rather quickly because some the fried chicken I already had uh, fried up and, and put in the freezer from before. So that's wonderful. And the sausages were all cut and ready to go. So that makes it nice. There was only a few things we had to cook up and we did it just fine and we did it within two hours. So we got eight beautiful um, TV dinners all for one person within two hours and all homemade. Your family's gonna love this. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen, friends. And make sure you give the, if you're a single person, make sure you give these a try. You can put your TVs together any way you want. You all have a good night. And as always, friends, thanks for watching.